get into the real uh, news topics that we want to talk about today. Um, I know you don't talk a lot about the Xbox uh, stuff, right. but there is one thing I really want to talk about Xbox related. So we've got the Xbox One X that's coming out at the uh, end of this year. I think it's in November or something like that. But uh, one of the games that people have been really looking forward to to kind of help launch that system is the new Crackdown game, Crackdown 3. Uh, it's literally been like, I want to say eight years since Crackdown 2 came out. And right. uh, the original Crackdown on the 360 was actually like one of the first really impressive games I played on the 360 with the way it was designed. You know, it was open. Have you ever played the original Crackdown? I did play the original. It was okay. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like the best game. Like nowadays, if we go back and look at it, it's probably going to seem kind of primitive. But it was doing a lot of things that games that didn't come out until later uh, did, of course. You know, it, it uh, right. games like Infamous and Grand Theft Auto 4 and so so on, they really borrowed some elements from the Crackdown game uh, with the way they did things. And uh, it, it was a really good game for its time. So uh, now, understandably, a lot of people are looking forward to Crackdown 3, partly because Microsoft doesn't have anything else of importance coming out. But... Oh, no, they don't. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, uh, Crackdown 3, <laughs> unfortunately, got delayed until spring of 2018. And uh, I kind of feel like this is going to do some serious damage to the Xbox One X. Um, what do you what do you think about that? Um, well, there, you know, there's a reason why I don't buy an Xbox. And again, I'm not going to tell get mad at people for buying Xbox or worry what other people buy. But I don't feel the Xbox has the support that the PS4 does. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Especially first party and second party wise, you know? Oh, yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, I have an Xbox One S, mm -hmm. and I do like the system. You know, I think it's a really solid console. But that's the thing, though. It's a good console. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of good exclusive games. So that's kind of like a major problem that the PS4 has a definitive advantage on. Oh, yeah, um, for sure. I mean, it's not like it was with, say, the 360 and PS3. They both had really solid games. Or, like, even the PS2 and the uh, original Xbox. You know, I mean, obviously the PS2 was ahead, but the original Xbox still had a lot of unique games of its own Yeah, that um, weren't on other systems, or maybe they were on PC, but it wasn't like nowadays where, like, 95% of the games that get announced for the Xbox One are also on the PC. So it's yep. like, is it yeah. really that much of an exclusive, especially since PC gaming is so much easier to get into now? It is. So. And thanks to things like steam and things like that, for sure. Right. Right. Which I mean, back in the sixth gen, seventh gen, you know, PC gaming wasn't so ubiquitous and easy to do. So if somebody was to say like, Oh, you know, as to say, Oh, you can't play Knights of the Republic or Morrowind or, uh, Jade Empire or something like that on the PS2, you could play when they're like, well, I can play on the PC. You know, a very valid response would have been, well, good luck setting that up. <laughs> you know, <laughs> good luck yeah, actually yeah. getting your game to run on that PC. Um, but that's not really a, a legitimate reply anymore because it's easy to do that stuff now. I mean, oh, yeah, it is. It is. There's, I mean, there's cheap uh, alternatives to gaming PCs and things like that, too. Mm -hmm. So. And it's not like everybody has to play on the highest settings. Yeah, I mean, people always say the whole, oh, it costs $2,000 to build a good gaming PC. Well, yeah, if you want max settings on everything, perhaps. But, you know, you can easily build a capable machine that will be playing everything that you can for under $500. No problem, you know. And uh, you can do a lot more with that PC than you can with, say, a PS4 or Xbox One. But, um you know, without this game, the only game that we really have that's for sure going to show off the One X's capability at launch is Forza 7. Which, I mean, racing games are beautiful, no doubt. I'm sure it's going to look gorgeous on that system. But is that really going to be enough for people to upgrade? No, that's, it's not. It's yeah. Not. So, I mean, people will crap on the PS4 Pro all day, but at the very least, Sony actually puts out a number of exclusive games and it does give the PS4 Pro some advantages over the original games, even on games that have already been released long before, since you could do like the boost mode and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's just the Xbox brand is kind of just eh, at the moment, you know, for me. 
Right, it's right. not. Yeah, it's just not everything that I want for me as a player. And again, there's fans of Crackdown and Halo and Gears of War, and that's fine. But for me, everything that I want is on the PS4, you know? Right, right. And, I mean, it would be a little bit different, like, if uh, the Xbox got more third-party games. Like, if it was getting more RPGs and things like that, you know, I can understand why somebody would go with an Xbox One over a PS4. Even though they might have more exclusive games on the PS4, like Sony made ones, if the Xbox was doing a lot better job with getting the third parties, then, you know, I think, uh, I don't know, I just... Like, with the whole PS3 versus 360, I thought it was very easy to understand why one person would choose one or the other. Because they both right. had very distinct advantages. Uh, but really, the main one that the Xbox has is backwards compatibility. Which, mm -hmm. if you really want to play 360 games, you can get a 360 dirt cheap now. You know, oh, I've, yeah. I've seen them as cheap as, like, 50 bucks, you know, with the hard drive and everything. So, it's that's not really that, that good of an excuse anymore. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I got nothing else to say on it. I, I think 